Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the modern changing table with six folding baskets. Before we get started, make sure you look at all the pieces included. If you're missing anything or have any damaged parts, please contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. Also, this changing table comes in multiple colors, but the assembly will be the same. So let's get started. For step one, you need part A, the side. You need part B and C, which are the bottom shelf rails, the rear and the front. Part D and E, which are the top shelf rails, the rear and the front. Two of part I, which are the top rails. Six of part K, which are the bolts. Six of part U, which are the plastic pegs. Six of part T, which are the barrel nuts and you need the Allen wrench tool. For this step, what we're gonna be doing is attaching the rails to the side. I'm gonna start first by putting on the bottom rails. When looking at the side, you're gonna see the side that has the smaller holes. This is the side that you want the rails to come off from. When looking at the other side, you're gonna see these larger holes where the bolt will be going through, coming out the other side into those rails. When looking at the rails, you're gonna see rails on one side that have a groove. These grooves need to go towards the middle, facing towards each other. You're also gonna see a larger hole. This is where we're gonna be putting the barrel nut. On the very end, you're gonna see two holes. The top hole will be for a plastic peg, and the bottom hole is where that bolt is gonna go into. Now, when putting in the barrel nut, you'll want it to where you have the groove facing outward so you can see it. Because in the case that this hole doesn't align to where that bolt's going to go through, you may have to use a flathead screwdriver to adjust the barrel nut to make it so that the bolt can go through. So I'm going to put in this barrel nut, trying to make it so that the hole will be open to the bolt going through it. Then I'm going to put in the plastic peg on top. We're going to put it on the side here. So now again, peg is going to go into the side with this groove facing towards the middle. Then what we'll do is we'll take a bolt from the other side and we'll screw it into this hole. So we're going to use that Allen wrench tool. And then we'll just turn it and screw this into place. Remember, if your bolt doesn't go in, it's because your barrel nut is not open going sideways to where the bolt is going to go through it. So you'll have to adjust it with that flathead screwdriver. I'm going to repeat this on the same, on the other side using the same thing. So we're going to first put in that barrel nut. Put in the plastic peg. Make sure to have the groove facing towards the middle so that these grooves are facing towards each other. Put that bolt through there and then we're going to tighten it into place. So now we're going to repeat the same thing with the next level up. So these two holes up towards the top. This is where we're gonna be putting those top rails. So now this one's a little bit opposite. You're gonna have the peg now at the bottom, the bolt at the top, and that barrel nut at the top. So the groove's gonna be at the bottom. Now something that's very important as you're going along is you're gonna notice this hole. As I put these on, this hole that's on the top here they need to align with each other going across. So in the case that you have the hole on the opposite side, you need to flip the boards around, or these rails around, so that these holes align here. And when putting these rails on top, you're gonna notice the same thing, that there's this hole. It needs to align going up and down as well, and across. So all four of these holes need to align with each other. So in this case, this one is going to go on this side here. Groove is down with, again, the peg at the bottom and the bolt at the top. And then groove towards the middle. And this hole here is going to align going over this one. So let's get these put into place off on the other top two rails. Thank you. 
Now before you go any further, again, make sure you check these two holes on top of these rails and make sure they align with the two holes on the underside of these rails so that all four are at the same level. And lastly for this step, we're going to be putting in the very top rails, which are the two rails part I. When looking at these rails, there's only one side that has the um, space for the barrel nuts. What you're going to want to do is have these up towards the top, which is where that bolt is going to be coming in, and then this bottom hole here is for the plastic peg. You're going to want these facing in to the inside towards each other so you don't see them from the outside. So first we're going to put in the barrel nut. Put in that plastic peg. We're going to be putting it on the very top holes here. And then we're going to screw in this bolt from the other side. We're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Again, putting in that barrel nut, the peg on the bottom of the holes, putting it on this side with that barrel nut facing towards the middle. And then putting in that last bolt. For step two, you need part W, the bottom shelf, part V, the top shelf, two of part H, which are the posts, and four of part S, which are the wooden pegs. First for this step, what we're going to be doing is putting the shelves into place. So I'm going to lay this down on its side so it's easier to put these shelves going down. The shelves are going to be going down along these grooves and along this bottom groove. So when you're putting the shelves down, make sure you're pushing them firmly down as far as they can go to make sure it's getting into this bottom groove as well. So first what we're going to start doing is putting part V, the top shelf, into this one up here. So you're going to want the white facing upwards towards the top. And you're going to get it into the groove here on both sides and then slide it all the way down. So now once you get it down, it's important that you push it down as far as you can get it to go. We're going to repeat the same thing with the other one. So this is W. We're going to be putting this into the bottom. Again with that white facing upward. And again, pushing it down. Making sure it's down as far as it can go. The last thing we're going to be doing is putting in the posts. So you're going to want to take these wooden pegs you're going to put them into the end of these posts as far in as they can go. Now there's going to be one that goes in both sides. And then these are going to connect from the top to the bottom. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it in one side. Make sure you get it in as far as you can. And then gently pull this side away just enough to get this other wooden peg in. So you're just going to get it and push that in. We're going to repeat that again, putting the wooden peg on one side and again on the other. We'll start off by putting it in one side and then gently pulling away the top just enough to get that wooden peg into that other hole. And then you're going to want to push that down so that it pushes it into place. For step two, you need part A, the side, six of part K, which are the bolts, six of part U, which are the plastic pegs, and six of part T, which are the barrel nuts. For this step, what we're going to be doing is putting on the other side. It's going to be mirroring the first step where we put on the first side, where we're going to have six of these rails that need to come off the side. Now, if you remember in the rails, you need to put a barrel nut in each of the rails that's going to correspond to that bolt that's going through. You also need to remember to put in the plastic pegs. So let's first put in the barrel nuts on each of these rails 
Uh, we'll do that first going around all six of them. And then next what I'm gonna do is put in all the plastic pegs right away. This way I can just put that side on into the, all those plastic pegs and then just bolt them all right down. So in these bottom rails, this top hole is gonna be meant for the plastic pegs. For this top shelf rail, the bottom hole is meant for the plastic pegs. And then for the very top rail, again, the bottom hole is meant for those plastic pegs. Now when you look at the other side, you're going to see one side that has this groove here on the top and the bottom rail. That's where this, these shelves need to go into place. So when you're putting in this whole side, you need to make sure that you push it down firmly so that the shelf goes into this groove and then all of these pegs go into their corresponding hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay this down so the groove's going down. We're going to align them onto all the holes and making sure that that shelf gets into that groove. Once you have it pushed down firmly into all the corners, we're going to go ahead and put all six of these bolts going down. And we're going to get these all put down into place. For step four, you need four of part G, which are the basket tracks, two of part F, which are the trim. You need eight of the 40 millimeter bolts, and you need four of the 45 millimeter bolts. So next what we're gonna be doing is putting the basket tracks onto the body of the changing table. Now when looking at the basket track, you're gonna see one side that has this thinner kind of board, and it doesn't go all the way to the ends. This board is going to go in between the two side rails here. So it's going to line up with the holes on the top and on the bottom. So we're going to put it between the two. And then we're going to take these bolts going from the outside in and we're going to put it into that basket track. So we're going to put a bolt on each side to hold this into place. and then we'll tighten these bolts up. So now we're gonna repeat the same thing down below. So we're gonna put again this one here with that thin piece of wood going upward and towards the outside, putting in this bolt to go through to hold this basket track into place. Now we're gonna repeat the same thing here and then we're going to do the other two on the very opposite side. So let's get all of these basket tracks put into place. And lastly, what we're going to be doing is putting the trim onto the very top edge here. When looking at the trim, you're going to see the one side that has the holes. These are going to be facing downward towards the two holes here on the very end. You're also going to see that there's one side that has a flat edge. This flat edge you want to be going towards the inside. So when the holes are down, the flat edge is going this direction. We're going to put that down and we're going to put the two bolts going up 
through the bottom here and into this trim here. Now there will be a little bit of a gap and that's just part of the appearance. So make sure you don't over tighten these bolts. For step 5 you need 2 of part G which are the basket track, 2 of part M which are the middle basket track, and you need 4 of the 55 millimeters bolts. For this step what we're going to be doing is putting on the middle basket tracks onto these center posts. When looking at these tracks you're going to see the middle basket track has one end that has a larger hole. On the other side you're going to see the smaller hole which is the side of this thin piece of wood. A bolt is going to be going into the larger side, it's going to go through this middle post, and it's going to go through the other basket track that has the metal insert, so this is part G. So essentially it's going to be sandwiching this middle post here. So we're going to put a bolt on each side to hold these together. So coming through here, you're going to put a bolt through this larger side here, going into the hole on this center post. Then we're going to put the other one with the metal insert, it's where that bolt is going to go into, and then we're going to tighten that into place. Again, remember, make sure that you have the thin piece of wood facing upward and to the middle, just as you do the outside basket tracks as well. We're going to put the bolt on the other side, so going through one track, through the middle post, and to the other side into that metal insert, and tighten this one into place. So we're going to repeat the same thing with the bottom two holes here. So we're going to find our part with that thin wood piece facing upward and to the middle, and then this one is going to have the metal inserts, again that thin piece of wood facing upward and to the middle, putting that bolt through from one side and into the next, and we're going to do that with both of these sides. For step 6 you need part O, the vinyl foam pad, part N, the metal bar, you need part J, the belt, and two of the 20 millimeter screws. For this next step what we're going to be doing is assembling the safety belt. When looking at the safety belt you're going to notice on the very ends there should be kind of an indented hole already started. Where this hole is going to go is to the underside, I flip this over so I can show you, so this is upside down. The underside you'll see a small hole where we're going to be putting a screw in. This screw is going to go through this belt and it's also going to go through this metal support bar which is going to be going across here. So this is going to go from one of the small hole on this side to the small hole on this side. And the curve of this metal piece should match the curve of the drop down and going back up so that it's snugly held down. Now when you're putting the belt on, it's important since I have it upside down to realize that the belt needs to go like this on the underside so that when you flip it over you have the top of the belt facing upward. So what I'm going to do is it's going to go around this underside like so. I'm going to wrap up the belt, align that hole here, and then I'm going to put this metal piece on top so that the screw needs to go through this metal bracket, through the belt, and into the top of the changing table. Now for this step you do need to use a hand Phillips screwdriver. So I'm just going to kind of get this started. 
and we're going to screw this down into place. Now this belt needs to go under this one but above this bar here. So it's going to be going in between these two bars. And then I'm going to tip it up and I'm going to grab it from the other side here, making sure that it's not twisted. And I'm going to come up in between the two bars on the other side, wrap it around, putting it in between this metal piece and the wood, lining up that hole and putting in the screw. Now at this point, what you need to do is flip the changing table back over and make sure that that safety belt is correctly into position. So now looking at the safety belt, you should see the buckle facing upward like it's supposed to. So next we're going to put the changing pad on the top of the table here. So we're just going to put it up under the buckle and slide it into place. And then we'll push it around all the edges to make sure that it's firmly down. For step seven, you need three of part L, which are the large basket sets, which include the bottoms, and three of part P, which are the small basket sets with the bottoms. For this step first, what you need to do is assemble the baskets. What you're going to do is take one of the basket bodies, you're going to pull it open. For the smaller baskets, you're going to use the smaller insert. So you're going to take the basket bottom, you're going to put it in, and you're going to firmly push it all the way down to the bottom so that it holds its shape. We're going to repeat the same thing with the other two small baskets, and we're also going to repeat the same with the larger baskets. A neat feature about these baskets is that the color is reversible. So let's go on and make all these baskets. And that concludes the assembly for the modern changing table with the six folding baskets. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, to please contact Badger Basket as shown in the next clip. Badger Basket thanks you for watching and enjoy.